Okay, friends. So while I was in Vegas, um, I stayed at the Lynx Hotel, which there is a video that someday I would be able to link to other videos to um, lead you right into the other video. But since I don't know how to do it at this point, um, I am going to tell you some of the attractions that I did while I was there. And one of the things that I did, let's start with Excalibur. So I went there, they had a Ultimate 4D showing um, there, and it consists of four 15 um, parts in the movies. They were Polar Express, Wonder Woman, San Andreas, and Aquaman. And what they did was is that they took... Um, 15 minutes or combined 15 minutes of the more action scenes of the movie to create this 4D experience for you in 15 minutes. So first off, it was $20 that I booked through um, Vegas.com. But when I got to the counter, I believe it was $20 as well um, to experience these movies. And what I liked about the 4D movie, my first 4D movie ever, if um, I can mention that real quick, was here at the St. Louis Zoo, and it was of SpongeBob. I'd never been to a um, 4D movie in my entire life, and it was like one of the most fascinating things that I've ever seen that I ranked it five out of five. And um, I know um, some of you who are friends with me personally um, follow me on Facebook. And I used to go to the movies often and I tell you what I thought about them and rank them. But anyway, I've never ranked a movie a perfect five. And since I was so captivated by this one, which was probably only like 10 minutes and it was SpongeBob, but we know we all love that guy who lives in the sea. Anyway, on to the matters at hand. So it was um, $20 to see it. And yes, there was snow, there was bubbles. Um, they had these air pressure things that were under the seats. Like when the earth quaked in San Andreas, it gave you the illusion on your feet and, and the vibration of the chairs and the things like that. Like everything that you would want in a 4D movie was there. And of course, you know, I don't know why they love squirting you with water, but they do. But you know what? In the Aquaman scenes, of course, the water was there. In the San Andreas scenes, the water was there. So all they worked, all four of these things in all of the movies. And in, in the Polar Express one, it was definitely um, nice to have the snow coming down. Anyway, nevertheless, there was another thing that they did in this movie and I, I don't necessarily know if I want to say it in the video because I've never experienced this in a 4D movie. And when it happened to me, I was kind of like, ow. <laughs> I mean, like it was, it kind of hurt a little bit, but it caught me by surprise of what they actually did. So anyway, if you're ever in Vegas and you have $20 and you like, and of course the movie is in 3D, the fourth, the fourth D is all of the things. And I think one of the movies, one of the movies that even had like a smell, it wasn't a stank smell. I believe in the Polar Express one, there was something of a smell, but, um, yes, if you are in Vegas, you're going to be, um, and it's good for kids too. And they also had a, um, game room like right outside the theater so you would be able to ugh, those kids were everywhere and they were screaming and yelling anyway um it looked like it was a kid friendly place to stay and um I rather enjoyed it like I said I will not tell the one thing that did happen that actually surprised me in the movie um doing that experience because I don't want to spoil that part for you but if you've been to a 4D movie and aside from like the smell and the snow and the bubbles and the water and the flickering of the lights I mean like they do a lot of effects there but this one thing which was my second movie I never experienced this before and it surprised me so in the comments below if other than those things that I just mentioned, if something different happened to you in one of those things, um, 4D movies, let us know. And I bet you say, well, why are you not letting us know? <laughs> but anyway, if somebody asks me in the comments or you know me personally and you, and you ask me, I'll tell you. Um, the other thing that I experienced was... 
Fly Over is what I believe they called it. And I booked this one also through Vegas.com. And it was $35 and like two cents with the tax. And I experienced the Wild Wild West one. They have another one as well. And I believe it's either Ireland or Iceland, one of the two. But anyway, I did the Wild Wild West one and it's the Western States of the United States. And um, here's, here, here was the experience of it. It had 4G effects and you're sitting in this thing kind of like in a corner in a in an amusement park type ride thing and if you've ever been to one of the fancier ones with the three and four d kind of rides it's kind of like that so the lights all go down so then um the the thing moves into position so then when it comes back up it's bright it's it's light and it gives you the illusion of yes you really are flying over these parts of the u.s which is great. The problem with it is, is that I didn't think that it was worth the money. And it felt like it was only 10 minutes. It took more preparation for them getting us in line, getting all the people that were supposed to be there when they were supposed to be there, waiting in this little waiting area. And then they switch you to another room to tell you a backstory of, I guess, the West or whatever. Anyway, it's like, I could have deal without all of that these people knew where they were supposed to be when they were supposed to be there. If you want to give an extra five minutes or so for people to get themselves together, and of course kids were there, okay, fine. Um, yes, the actual experience, yeah, they had like when you were going through the clouds, there was like a, a light fog that was coming at you. Of course, there was a mist and things. So it, the experience itself was a good experience. I just don't know if it was worth $35. That definitely could have been a $15, $20 thing. But as we all know, if you've ever been on a Las Vegas strip, a lot of things often are overpriced there. And um, they know people are going to tend to pay for it because they are on vacation. So if you are ever in Las Vegas and you experience one of these things, or if you've already experienced them before, just let me know. So like, comment, subscribe. And it is NYE, so I hope you guys are um, being safe out there, and I will see you in the new year.